Are you crying, bro? <clears throat> Am I crying? Why are you asking impossible things? Next thing you're gonna ask me if pigs fly. Obviously, the dust from the carpet that you refused to vacuum flew in my eye. That's all that happened. What were you watching? John Wick. <clears throat> John Wick. I don't remember John Wick ending with I'm having the time of my life. Anyway, what's up? I was about to lift some weights. You get me? Tough stuff. What do you want? I'm kind of having trouble with my girl and, you know, she's not answering my phone calls, my texts, my emails, <laughs> nothing. Well, I'm not going to lie. If he's sending a girl an email, it's probably already over. But I'm not really good with that romantic stuff. You know me, bro. I stay tough in these streets. Mm -hmm. That being said, I did accidentally end up watching this show on Prime Video called Catastrophe. Now, obviously, you know me. I don't watch romantic stuff because man's not a wet wipe he gets. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, um, Catastrophe, I thought was gonna be some kind of disaster movie. What, a Catastrophe? It turns out that Catastrophe is actually about casual couples breaking up and then getting back together again. <clears throat> so yeah, obviously, if you watch that, that'll probably help you with your moist girl problem. I don't wanna be alone. I don't either. I don't feel safe in the house. Fam. <clears throat> you know, on my own. You're right. Yeah, a hay fever. And Pollen count's high, to be fair. I feel like that helped. Mm. I was watching this other film accidentally on Prime Video as well called Dating Amber. And you know, obviously, I wouldn't be caught dead watching a romantic show. <laughs> obviously, I thought it would be like a silly, chatty, reality TV type show about my favourite Love Island contestant, Amber Gill. Can you please suggest something else, Amber? A screw top bottle of wine. I don't want wine. Why not? Because some days just apple juice, wow. That doesn't have a cork. Not everything has to have a cork screw in it. Gosh. It actually turns out that dating Amber is about young people in Ireland in the 1990s who are really trying to figure out their emotions and their relationships. <laughs> but yeah, obviously that would probably help you with them wet relationship issues that you've got going on. So I'm just saying it would be good if you gave it a watch is all I'm saying. I don't know, this, this, this works, okay, it's perfect. It, it's not real. Oh, it is, it is. No, it is, it um, is real. <clears throat> just, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. That was emotional. Right, I think I've got everything I need to help this situation. There's this other Prime video show called Modern Love. Obviously, you know me, fam. I would never watch anything romantic. I need 72 people at least to die in a film for me to like it. I thought this Modern Love show was going to be about the love of modern stuff. And, and I love modern stuff. I don't know how you do the things that you do, but I love it. So modern. So modern. Technology! <laughs> to my surprise, modern love is actually about love in all of its forms. And it stars Anne Hathaway, Tina Fey, Dev Patel, and a load of other amazing actors. And I'm telling you, it was beautiful. It was, it was all right, you get what I'm saying? But obviously, it probably helped you and all of that. Relationship stuff that you're going through. You know, you seem to accidentally watch a lot of stuff, but I guess getting another perspective won't hurt too much. You made it impossible for me to be a part of your life, Dennis. I think you've always pushed me away. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're right. Thank you. What are you Yeah, now our heart's broken, hilarious. <laughs> oh, sorry, bro, she's just text back. You know, I've got to go to you. Yo, Sideman, have you seen my coat? <clears throat> yeah, I'm here fam. I was obviously bringing it to you because I saw that you had left it. Okay, cool. Uh, cool, bro. My guy!